Hey guys, welcome back to the Mid Card Mania. Oh, sorry, Mid Card Mania. Mania. But today we're going to be finding out who the Mid Card Maniac of 1986 is. Uh, I'm Daniel. Steven. And uh, yeah, we're back. Glad we made it two weeks in a row, buddy. Yeah. That's, that's great. Thank yeah. you very much. You going to make it next week? Probably. This guy right here, I'm telling you, still, still, still sore, still sore over here. I got a call earlier this week actually from uh, Stephen Teddy Bear. He's like, "Do you need me?" I'm like, "Maybe." You stay on standby. But you made it this week, so we're good. Uh, and yes, uh, you know when I did the uh, sorry the main event in 1986, there was only one event. So literally one guy gets gets in. So the same will be the same when we do the mid card maniacs. Who's the guy who gets in? It's Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant. But you know what? Honestly, I'm good with that. Like if, if we're gonna honor one guy from 1986. In the mid card, why not Andre? I yes. mean, seriously, this is a guy who honestly he was a main eventer in the mid card. Yeah, best way to describe him. Like he, he, he just way he always was. <laughs> well, he he was a main eventer, then he just moved down to the yeah. mid card. Yeah. And see, but to me, you see, I I didn't watch a whole lot of his early in stuff. In my opinion, he, my opinion, he will always be pretty much one of the top guys. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like even when you watch him on that mid card, you're watching a main eventer. Yeah, it's like uh, ah, we'll get side I ain't gonna side was but yeah, Andre Giant definitely deserves this accolade. So to me, him getting it just by default, it's okay with me. It's almost like when he won the world title. Mm -hmm. Clearly, it was just given to him just to say, "Hey, thank you. You're on the list of world champions. You know, we're getting, you know, getting taking it off you immediately. But still, yet yeah. you on that list. That's what this is. He's on the list because he deserves it. Mm -hmm. And '86 was a good year for him. You yeah. know, we talked about this last week. You know, he did do the uh, machine gimmick, which was. Fucking awesome. Loved yes. it. Won the Bower Oil, which yes. we talked about. And, and then, of course, it was built. You went on, you went on to do um, uh, Prince, Princess Bride. Princess Bride. Great movie. Mm -hmm. Love it. And he went on to go up against Hulk Hogan in, at WrestleMania 3. You know what I think is crazy about that? Okay, at this point, right, he's winding down. I mean, it's, it's well documented. That, I, I think even before WrestleMania 2, like, you know he's more well, documented than well, well, He was still, his body was just now starting to break down. Well, he he did, he still did compete, but not, oh, yeah. as, not, as, not, as, not as often. But what's crazy is, is, you know, WrestleMania 3 was kind of like that final hurrah, or supposed to be, where he's going to be like, all right, passing the torch, passing so the to torch speak. Passing the torch to Hogan. And then he would go to compete for another three years or so. Like, yeah. Now, maybe not as much as everybody else, but at least pay-per-view-wise, very consistent. It just blows my mind that, like, he, literally, he gets to the point where, like, they had to team him with Haku so Haku could take the workload. But it's like, yeah. dude, like, just stop. You, you can quit right now. Yeah. No one's going to blame you. And he's a soldier, and he soldiered on. So, That's right. I think for all those reasons right there, congratulations. You're a mid card maniac of 1986. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely more prestigious than when I gave the junkyard dog last week, or three weeks ago. So, <laughs> junkyard dog. He had a good 85, and then yeah, it just it went downhill from it there. Fizzled, yeah. It fizzled very quickly. That soda was left out, and there was just no more fizzle left. No. So, All right, man. Well, any more thoughts on Andre before we uh, wrap it up? That's it. That's it. What was his actual finisher? Was it the uh, headbutt? No, was it no, no. It, it was like a butterfly suplex. Was it really? Yeah. I've only seen him do that once. He did it to... Did it to Hogan. Did he do it to Hogan? I don't remember. I remember he did the uh, Bam Bam at the or Survivor Series, but I don't remember... Huh. You see him do that. Alrighty, well, go ahead. We'll sign off here. Uh, tune in next week. We're going to hit WrestleMania 3. <laughs> oh, that's the big one. That's the big one. It has two matches, and that's it. It's the big one, though. You'll love it. So, all right, I'm Daniel. I'm Steven. We're out of here. Reading.